Well, Jerry, if ever a performance deserved a clean sheet, that was it this afternoon. That was truly heroic from your men. That was that was immense. It, was, it really was. We um, I spoke to you before the game and said that we'd had a game plan today that m- might look slightly different to a normal Bath City home performance or shape. Um, and it was to go with a flat five and it was going to be a 5-4-1. What we didn't envisage was obviously getting Jack sent off after 15 minutes. Lots of discussions then, do we go to a back four, 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 one? But we wanted to stay with it. We knew what their danger was. We knew they wanted to drop balls on diagonals across to Millsy and feed off that with runners. So we stayed with it. And um, yeah, to a man, they were they were terrific. You know, the shape, the distances. It's not only the, you know, people who say we sat in there. There's lots of movement in that. When the ball goes backwards, you've got to get up two or three yards. You've got to shuffle sideways across. Your midfield have got to stay disciplined. And um, in the end, the ironic thing is we should have won the game. Um, we had the better chances. Ryan's pulled off a good save first half. But at the, the end, the two chan- the three chances, if you like. Dave's header was like a rocket and it's come off Vint, I think. Um, the second one is Fletch comes in on his left foot like he did against Hemel. And I thought that would nestle in. Charlie's made a good save. And then Charlie's been really dominant against, um, against Cody when Cody's touch is a little bit heavy over the far side. So it's three really good chances. But what you have to do as a team is give yourself that opportunity to win the game. And um, yeah, I thought I thought... Listen, as a, as a manager in sport, um, in team sport, what you want from your team is, is resilience, togetherness. Um, the team spirit today was, was terrific. The group looked a proper unit. They looked like they wanted to die for each other on the pitch, literally. I mean, you've got Elliot Freer having a laugh with him down there. He's stopping crosses at left back areas and winning headers from Ryan Jones on the far post. And these are players that we'd call our, probably our attacking flair players. So yeah, to a man there, I thought they were, they were terrific. Red card on 14 minutes. I can't remember the last time we've had to play so long a man down. No. What, what was your view on the decision? I thought it was fair. I think it was a red card. Um, I think Jack took a decision or maybe maybe slightly panicked. I mean, I don't think the ball's great to him in the first. We didn't need to play the ball back to him on a bobbly pitch, put him under pressure. And then obviously you make a decision or it's not thought out process that one, is it? It's a reaction. And, um, and his, his thought was he knew, he knew he was probably going to go through and have an opportunity. Whether he would have scored or not is a different one. From my side, it's, it's just deal with it. And hopefully, if he does go in, trust Ryan to make a save. But Jack made that decision. And, um, and there it is. You know, he's disappointed as anyone. He's feeling really sort of down and sad for himself. And for the team, more importantly, because, listen, Jack Batten's been immense for me over the course of the years. We've, um, we had a good conversation yesterday, me and him, about the game plan, how we thought the week gone, because I can trust him. And um, no one would be more disappointed to be sent off than Jack. But no one would be more pleased than Jack, because he's the first on the pitch celebrating with us. When I say celebrating, shaking hands, I'm not getting... Don't get carried away here. We haven't won a game, but we've drawn that with 10 men for such a long time. So, yeah, Jack, Jack will learn from that one. The unfortunate thing now, we've got, we're going to miss him. And with the news that Jordan Dyer's out for the rest of the season, that puts us right, right short in numbers. Um, and there's nothing we can do about it. I guess it sort of sums our season up a little bit. But today could be a big, a big statement for the players, a big one for no one else, for them to say, look, we can, we can defend, we can keep clean sheets and we can have a firm base to work off. So I'm really pleased for him. The man who kept the clean sheet, Ryan Clark, was man of the match. He didn't actually have too many saves to make, but he was so assured with his handling and he really commanded his defence well. Yeah, I, listen, no disrespect to Ryan at all. I, I, I think there was other players there that deserved man of the match. I thought Dan Ball was immense. I thought Joe Rain's going back in there as well. But I'm going to go through them all now and I don't want to really because to a man, as I said, they've all put in heroic performances. He should have been man of the match to Bath City today. That's what he should have been. And... Um, yeah, I'm really pleased for him. Honestly, we've had a really, really good week this week. Lots of the feedback from the players was there was lots of detail in regards of how we were going to go. Like I said to you, it was going to be different. They understood it. We kept checking in with them. We checked with them again yesterday. They understood the shape. They understood that the crowd may have to be patient with us because it wasn't going to look like an attacking team to start with. We were going to break from a base. And they stayed to the game plan with 10 men. So, yeah, really pleased for them. We, we've... We've only got a point on the board. We won't look at other results. We'll look at our four games in block now because we finished the previous four and we've got a target for it. So we're on target for that. Um, but that will give them a lot of confidence knowing they can go and keep a clean sheet. What we have to do now is go to Concord because you're going to face the same down there. It's going to be a war of attrition. They are playing some football. The balls are going to be coming in on you. They're athletic. They're strong. And um, we'll have to defend for our lives. And um, that's what we did today. 
Ben Seymour had quite a task up front on his own and then obviously reduced to 10 men. Mm. And obviously tiredness, I think, crept up on him. Presumably, is that his first football since the Maidstone game? He's only trained five times, so he's had no, no game time. The plan was to give him an hour, really. He said he was fresh and kept going. But I didn't want to... Obviously, we can't risk anyone pulling him hamstrings or anything or groins or calves. He was immense. I thought he was great. He's always going to be a threat. I was excited to see him on counter-attacks. But obviously, as the game panned out, it was going to be slightly different. Then Dave Sims Burgess goes on, makes a huge difference because he's got something completely different to Ben. Um, physically winning his flick-ons, taking us up the pitch. Obviously, he had his chance with his header. But yeah, they've... Um, They've all had massive, that's a massive effort for the football club today. So anyone may question team spirit. I've seen some ex-managers do some bits. It's just, it's a joke. It's an absolute joke when they question team spirit. When you look at that, that, that is a group that's proper together. It's a group that wants to win. Same messages from the two guys, Junior and, and Gav. We've watched all your games. You've been good. You're just on one of them unfortunate moments. And um, today, like I said, it, it will give us as a group the confidence to know that We've got resilience, we've got spirit, we've got everything we knew we've got. And this, this, this today, we deserve this. We deserve this point. And, and we should have probably taken three. Unbeaten in three at home, roared on by 1,200. Brilliant. Cried almost certain we're going to average over 1,000 across the season. Good contingent from Dulwich as well. This afternoon in fairness, but the attendance yeah. is the support has been magnificent at Twin Park. It's, no, it has, honestly, through, through all these times. There hasn't been many games where we haven't performed, I've got to say that. There's only a handful. Um, and I know we've been on the end of some bad results, but the performance levels have been okay. There's only a couple that we'll say at home. We are starting to make this a fortress and now it almost feels like it when you get that air of confidence I said to you before the game. We turn up, we're at home. People like Alex Fletcher have had a, has had a really good run here in goals and was unlucky not to get his other one today. But for us as a group coming home, the, the, they were behind us. I felt it. We, you know, they've, they've seen what they've seen and clapped us off at the end and we've gone across and it's not a celebration, it's just an appreciation of their support at the end. Um, we... We will take this forward. We will take this forward. Look forward to the next. We've got another three games here, haven't we, as well? We'll look forward to them. And um, they deserve all the credit tonight. The players have had a really, really good week, finalised off there and finished off with a, with a fantastic team performance. Well done for the result today. Cheers. Thanks, thanks. Mark.